Hello everyone, today's tutorial is on how to register and schedule your certification exam at home with your Microsoft Free Voucher. There are two ways you can schedule your Microsoft exam, either from the PSU View homepage or by going to the Microsoft Learn homepage. This tutorial is focused on scheduling your exam right from your Microsoft Learn homepage. But before we get started, I want to welcome you all to my YouTube channel. I am Chinwe Onyebweke and this is my learning platform. Please, as usual, remember to subscribe to get an update on any Microsoft related topic. So let's dive into today's topic. Start by typing Microsoft Learn into any search engine of your choice and select learn.microsoft.com. And once you are in the Microsoft Learn homepage, ensure that you have created your Microsoft Learn account. If you don't have an account yet and want to know how to create your Microsoft Learn account, I have a video on how you can create your Microsoft Learn account and organize your learning pathway. The link to this video is provided in the description box. So do check out for this video. After creating your Microsoft Learn account, you can click on profile or simply click on credential at the top of the home page. After selecting credential, you can scroll down the page to choose the certification that align with your career goal. There are different certification areas such as the administrator, the AI engineer, app maker, business user, data analyst, data engineer, data scientist. You can select any category that meets to your career goal or you can even scroll more down to view some popular certification exam and it's important to know that these exams are denoted by alphanumeric code for example the microsoft Certify fundamental exam is denoted as AZ900 you can click on the exam to learn more about the details objective and skills measure for this tutorial i will focus on scheduling the azure administrator certification denoted as AZ104 so i will head over to administrator and to narrow down my search to the EXA certification, you can easily make use of this filter. It makes it easier for you to identify the certification. For example, the AC104 is an Azure certification and the role is an administrator. The level and intermediate um, certification. The certification type is a role based at the type is certification. Now this helps you to filter the certification to easily identify your certification exam. Here is the AC104. So I click on the AC104 certification and head over to schedule exam. Select schedule exam. This page requires you to fill your personal information. So go ahead and fill the information and click on submit. This place gives you overview of your updated profile. So if any of your profile is incorrect, you can easily click on edit profile to ed edit it and then click on the next. At this page, you can also change the examination if you have selected the wrong certification examination. If not, you can continue with the registration. You can also type in your email address at this post and check if you have a discount if not it will tell you that no discounts available for this email address if you have attended an event that provide an exam offer please check the terms of the offer then you go ahead and click on the next button now this page says that if you have a voucher code continue to the exam scheduling you will enter the code on piercing view before the payment you can click on schedule with piercing view this space allows you to select the exam option there are three different ways you can either write the certification in person at a test center going to a test center to write the exam on view online with on view that is if you want to take the exam at home or in an office or if you have a private access code you can select any one that matches your interest for this tutorial will focus on scheduling this exam online and click on the online with piercing view there are different requirements that you must fulfill to be able to write the exam online first is your computer use a personal computer that has a reliable webcam 
an internet connection. You can run a system test to verify if your system is up to the standard. Another requirement is your testing space. The room should be a distraction free private place so you can click here to see some acceptable space that are allowed for this exam. The third option is your photo ID. Before starting the certification exam, you will be verified with your government issued identification, either your passport or your driving license. You can also review the admission and ID policies here before going into the exam. And the last option is your checking in time. Check in for your on view exam 30 minutes before your appointment time. You can watch a short video to get familiar with the process. So, if you are prepared to take the exam with on view, you can click on the next button. This page requires you to select your preferred exam language. So, I will select English since I'm comfortable with English. You can select any language you are comfortable with and click on the next button. At this page, you are required to provide additional information. Have you read and do you agree to the Microsoft Candidate Code of Conduct, which is a non-disclosure? You can click on this link to read the Code of Conduct. So for this exam, I already have read the Code of Conduct. So I will go back and click on the Yes button. And also by clicking the yes button, you acknowledge that you have read both agreements. Any violation of this agreement can result in exam revocation or being banned for the Microsoft credential program. You can click on yes. I selected these two buttons and click on next. At this page, you are required to agree to the online exam and Microsoft policies. So you have to check the check button for the online exam policy, on view data processing, the third party prohibition, limited licenses, facial comparison policy, and lastly the test space verification policy. After selecting the check boxes, you can click on agree. And here you are required to select Proto language and click on next. At this page, you are required to confirm your preferred time zone. And the display time zone matches to my time zone. I can click on yes, that is right. If not, you can click on no to change the time zone and then click on yes, that matches your time zone. Next, you are required to select your date. So you have to select the date for your certification from the calendar. Only dates with appointment availability can be selected. You can select any date you wish to write the certification. I will go ahead and select the 14th of November. Now the recommended time is on Tuesday the 14th of November by 8.15 am to 10.15 am. If the display time is not convenient at your end, you can click on explore more time. And then you can select different time based on the date you selected. You can either select from 12 a.m. to 5 a.m. You see there are 19 time available. And from 5.15 to 9 a.m. there are also 14 times available. You can select any time that is convenient for you. So after you've selected your desired time, you can click on book this appointment. This page shows you the detail of your exam registration. For the detail of the exam, it's scheduled on Friday, November 17, 2023. And the check-in time for this exam is at 12 o'clock. Guys, it's important to note this time because it's 30 minutes before my appointment time, which is at 12 30. So the price for the exam is about 165 euros. If you're interested in Microsoft practice tests powered by MeasureUp, you can add this to your order. If not, you can click on proceed to checkout. At this page, you are required to enter your payments and billing method. If you have obtained any free voucher from Microsoft, you can click on add voucher or promo code. Now here you can either paste your voucher or type in your voucher within this page. And if you are interested to know how you can obtain your free Microsoft certification voucher, I have a detailed video on how you can obtain this voucher 
through digital skills nigeria in association with microsoft the link to this video is also at the description box so do check out this video and if you've not obtained any promo code you can select any payment of your choice with your mastercard or visa card and click on the next button and from this page you can see the summary of your exam registration from the description the name of the exam the appointment date check-in time and start time for this certification exam with the price of the exam and if all the information is correct you can click on submit order and there you have it it says that your appointment is confirmed and an order confirmation containing important exam date information has been sent to your email and with this guys we have successfully scheduled our microsoft certification exam right from the microsoft learn homepage. if you find this video helpful please give us a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to stay updated on any microsoft related video if you have any question or need further assistance feel free to leave a comment below thank you for watching and i wish you all the best in your certification journey see you in my next video bye